Hi, this is Tracy from Mindless Crafting, and how are all of you doing? It's good to be back and making tutorials again. Um, today, we're going to be making these adorable uh, tea pockets. So I'm going to show you how I made these and how I made the pocket from a 6x6 six six, uh, piece of cardstock or decorative paper. So look at this. How cute is that? So let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to be using our scraps for these. And I used a heart that was traced out of some of my paper that I already had. So I used this heart as the template, traced it out. But we do have a free uh, template on our Mindless Crafting website. Um, so you can go ahead and get one of those if you're not sure uh, how to draw out a heart this would be perfect for you and you can resize it. So let's take a look at this. All of these are little scraps from my stash, right? The teacup and tea lover came from the stamp set. So you can actually use whatever stamp sets you have or if you see an image that you like and you want to add it in, you can do that too. But these are absolutely adorable and so much fun to make. So let me show you how this goes. So this is a six by six uh, sheet of paper, right? And all you have to do is kind of fold this into the center. So what I'm doing is I'm just lining this up so that these just kind of overlap, but they're not perfect. As long as my tea bag fits in there, I'm good to go. Okay, so then I'm gonna just go ahead and fold that down. Then I'm gonna do another fold, overlapping just slightly above these corners at the top. Just like that. Look how quickly this comes together. And then I'm gonna take the other one at the bottom and I'm gonna fold that one over, just giving this a little bit of an edge. And let, as long as it overlaps just a little bit. It doesn't have to overlap a lot. So it's kind of like, Measuring just using your eyes, eyeballing it, right? <laughs> okay, and then I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to open this back up again. And you see where these little triangles are? I'm going to just snip and snip right on that line, okay? So you're going to want to make a bunch of these when you're done because it's so easy. Okay, let's go ahead and snip that. So I want you to learn the whole process. And I might be a little bit rusty because uh, I haven't recorded a uh, tutorial in a while. But you know what, I think, I think that y'all would just give me some, uh, <laughs> give me some grace, right? Okay, so you got this and you got that. So look how easy that folds down, right? Let's go ahead and open that back up. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and glue this. Okay, so if you wanna make it smaller, then cut it four by four. This is a six by six piece of paper. If you wanna go even larger, do six, uh, seven by seven. It's all up to you. Okay, so now what you're gonna do is just put a little bit of glue right there in the middle. Hold that down, right? And I'm using, of course, art glitter glue. And then we're going to just put some right along here so that we can fold this part up. So you don't want to do a whole bunch. I'm not putting any glue like right at that area right there because I want this little piece to be able to fold under. So you'll see that in a moment. Let's see. I'm going to take my corner rounder, snip that off, and I got to let this dry just a little bit more. Look how adorable that looks. And then I'm going to let it just rest right under there. So now you've got your pocket. So when I was doing this, I wanted to make sure that my heart would be able to fit like right there in the center. Okay. So now if you don't want it to be 
um, this small or you want it to come smaller, you can you can do that too. Let me show you. Look at that. So your tea bag is going to fit in there. You could put more than one tea bag in your pocket like I did. I did uh, two tea bags in the pocket. So I did one, two in that one. I don't think, I think squeezing another one in there, I think it might work. Let's see. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, so now let's go ahead and get our scraps out so that we can decorate. I'm going to be using the teacup, which I already went and cut some of those out. All right, so already stamped them out. And we're going to use the Tea Lover sentiment, or I might use May Your Cup Runneth Over. We'll see. We will see. And I'm going to use this these cute, adorable little uh, tea bags. I just cut them away. But you can do whatever you want to do with yours. Just have fun. Okay, so let's go ahead and put, I want a little bit of a border around this so it'll stand out. So I'm using my scraps, y'all. We all have scraps that pile up and we can make something really cute just by using our scraps. Let's put that on there. And I normally just freehand everything. Man, it feels really good to be back. Doing tutorials. I think one of the, the things I love doing is just being able to um, show y'all something that I'm super excited about, right? And making it fun. Okay, so we got that. That's going to be one of our focal points on the heart. And then we're going to take maybe something like this. That looks cute. All those little strips that you have, right? You can always cut them away. Make little banners for them. And you can also use your punches as well. So if you have those paper punches that you're not using, get those out because those can really take your crafts to a whole nother level. Especially when you're trying to find something to fill in on here. So this is cute too. I think I'll use this. All these strips of paper. And I'm like, what do I do with them? Well, here's a great idea. Something you can do with them. Okay, so you just pull out all of your stuff. Like, I've got so much of this adhesive tape, and I hadn't been using it. This right here is washi tape, in case you're wondering. I just put it on some cardstock, and then I cut it out. So that's washi tape. I'm going to use that, because I love the pattern on that. And I'm not mat. Notice I'm not. I'm not trying to match everything. I'm just trying to just glue some stuff together and see how it looks and just have fun doing it. And this is really fun. So let's put that right there. And then we're gonna overlap this on here. All right, really cute. And you could just keep adding as many layers as you want. So just adding that little bit of sparkle really works well. Okay, I'm going to have this coming across here. And I'm just kind of setting it up now just to see what it looks like. Now I'm going to take my punch, right? And this is a one inch heart punch and I'm going to use that and I'm going to cut out some hearts. Let's see. This color is really pretty. Heart paper with heart pattern and I usually just do more than one. And we do have a heart punch similar to this in our store. I'll put the link for you. Uh, but those punches, if you don't have the paper punches, Go ahead and get one because they're really, really fun to use. And they add so much to your, your cards, journals, uh, whatever it is, embellishments. Um, I've been really into making clusters lately. And I think I have a, I need a pink heart. I think this would be cute. Let's see. Something like that. Let's see. Mm 
just start layering everything and don't don't think about it too much. That's the main thing. Okay. And maybe put one right there. Yes, that looks good. Just gonna drop this one right at the back. Kind of looks like the shadow a little bit. And then we're going to stick that on there. Look at that. And now you've made something out of that one. Okay, and for this, I think I'm going to add some dimension to this. Okay, so before we really put this down, I like to kind of see what I've got, what I'm working with here. And that's what we've got so far. Looks good. The goal is to use up my scraps, and that's what I'm doing. And these are just the little um, strips from in, from Dollar Tree, the mounting tape. Okay, that's all I'm using, and just giving it that little bit of dimension really helps when you're making like like clusters. I, I consider these to be like a heart cluster. And imagine making something like this for maybe a co-worker or um, someone who's just having not having a good day and you want to just give them something to brighten their day. Why not make something that you already have in your class in your classroom, your craft room. <laughs> And they will be so thankful that you thought of them. Okay, so I'm going to just put that right there. Just maybe lean it over to the side. Now, I could have used this sentiment, too. So eventually I'll use this, too, because that's cute, too. May your cup runneth over. Okay, and then you stick your little tea bags. Make it fun. You don't have to have everything matching exactly. Just, just make it fun. Okay, let's slip that right in there. I'll just put that right across the top there. Let's see, wait a minute. Let's see what it looks like. Let's see what it looks like around the bottom. Hmm. I think I like it around the top there. Okay, now something I need here, I need something to tie in that black, right? See how it has that tea lover and a little black heart there? So I'm gonna take this and these little these little strips of washi tape really go a long, long way. And I'm going to slip this right in here just as an added something. I don't know why, but it just looks good to my eye, right? So it's almost like you're making a little piece of artwork. And this is a fun craft to do just to make a whole bunch of these and then go back and use them um, for something later on. But I've really been into using up my scraps lately. Okay, so now I'm gonna get another little heart See, I could punch out something very tiny. See these strips right here? Look at this. So now all I have to do is so this little teeny tiny heart punch when you're like, hey, I've got a small space I need to fill in. Use one of these little itty bitty uh, heart punches. Or you can use a flower punch. I have a flower also. So let's do another one. I guess I should put the cover on there, but <laughs> it's okay. You put three little hearts there. You can drop gems on there. You can put little beads. It's just up to you. Another heart right here. Okay. 
So I'm going to put a little bit of glue right under there so that it's not sticking up so much. And let that stay right there for a moment. Okay, so anything else you do is like extras, like adding in the stitching, of course. Okay, like that, and then you can also use your white gel pen, which you know I love my white gel pen, and you can add in a little bit of stitching to make this heart stand out just along the side here, just so you can actually see it, right? Just the simplest things, and then you can take your uh, gems and you can add some gems in on here too. I'll use these uh, flat back pearls and let's see. I'm liking the way that green one looks so I'm going to use that and we'll add a pearl in on here. See green colored pearl that matches with that, right? It looks fun. And then maybe I'll put one right here and then tuck another one in the corner there. So we'll have three on there. Okay, and now you have that already done. And so if you have like extra things, you can now take the envelope and put some stuff in the envelope there, like put a little heart there. I think that would be cute. You can take this and put a heart like right here. See what other extras. I'm just using some of my extra stuff here. Put a heart there. If you want, you can take your teacup, put it there. For this one, let me show you what I did. I took these tassels and I cut them apart, took the letters from these, and we have these in our store. This is a um this is called Kid at Heart Tassels. And I just cut them apart, took the word off of it, glued it on here, took these little tiny um little like embellished like it's almost like a flat um, flat embellishment I'll call it and then I just took those and I just stuck them on here so that's just another thing that you can do just another idea uh, use all your stuff that you have right now I take this and I'm going to put it on here but I want it to have embellishment actually some dimension of course <laughs> And uh, don't forget to uh, subscribe to our channel. Uh, we do live streams on Thursdays. Thanks to all of you that have been joining us on Thursdays. We've been having so much fun. Just chatting and laughing and creating. Okay, so we're going to take this now and look, just pop it right on here. And look how cute that is. Look at that. And now you can just close your tea pocket, tuck it in right there. Let's go ahead and put our tea in here. So this is one of my favorites. The roasted dandelion root. And I love Tezo tea also. But wouldn't this be a nice little pick-me-up? Uh, someone said that they were making some of these for a lady, the ladies at their church. I can't remember who said that, but I thought that was a great idea. Okay, and then you tuck it in like that, and look how cute that is. Oh my goodness. Now, one thing I did uh, forget to do, 
which to make my teacup will make the tea look liquidy is to use some of the glossy accents. I got to be careful when I use this because sometimes when you start squeezing it, it'll come out like really quick. So I just like to squeeze on a little scrap piece of paper good to get a nice flow and then just smooth it on there and it takes about I usually give it like a half hour to dry so I usually give it a little bit depending on how thick you put that on there so you don't want to go too thick on that if you want it to dry quickly but look how adorable that is and this little purple thing here let's see I can slip it in there if I want to. Just giving y'all some more ideas. Okay, and look how super cute those are. Using your scraps. I know y'all have a ton of scraps. Um, I hope this gives you some ideas of what to do with your scraps. If you want, don't forget, we have the free heart on our Mindless Crafting store. And I will put everything in the description that we use today. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said before, it is so good to be back. And I'm glad that I'm glad to be back. So thank you all for all your support. I really appreciate you. And I'll see you real soon. Bye.